Bill Burr blasts Jimmy Kimmel live on his show for his anti-Trump obsession. So Jimmy Kimmel's obsessed with being. I thought he, Bill he, Burr. He does try to rip on Trump a lot. I have seen like a lot of his clips. He like tries. To, he makes a lot of backhanded comments at people. I've he never did. like sat and watched Jimmy Kimmel in my life. Did he diss Nelk? I'm pretty sure he diss Nelk. Oh, Ooh. that's the only time I watched. Yeah, him. yeah. Jim, he did. Jimmy Kimmel. He did, and Kimble? then he called Kimble? him like a, he called him like a little <laughs> YouTube channel or something. Yeah, but then all the Nelk fans, all the Nelk fans, all the Nelk fans went on his. They were like, go on Jimmy Kimmel and spam him, and they went on, and then he turned off his comments because the, the Nelk fans spammed him too bad. Damn. I thought Bill Burr was getting on, on Trump, but again on this interview about his wife, too. I remember he, he was getting on Trump ass a little bit, or people that supported Trump. On this interview? Yeah, I remember. I remember it, like people this, was getting this, hot this about it. This is a new interview. This like happened recently, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know. People was getting hot about that. I was seeing this on Twitter. Oh, okay. Uh, unless it's showing certain parts. No, you were saying it like it, like it happened a long time ago. That's no, how I no, no, no. It happened recently. <laughs> but we finna get into it. Bill Burr is still one of the goldest comedians in my top three. To never show. walk this planet. Bill Burr is in my top three. I don't care what anybody got to say. Top he's three out of time. Top ten, maybe. I ain't gonna take. I would say he's in my personal probably top five. In my diverse group, let, let me think. He's my, top three. He is funny. Go, he's uh, definitely very funny. Well, I don't know. He, never mind. He's like an asshole funny. <laughs> I like that. No homo. It's like dark humor. Homo. You know, that's I, what, I, that's I actually funny. have seen Bill Burr in a lot of stuff, and until I saw Bill Burr on YouTube, it didn't click in my head who Bill Burr was. Like when people would name drop him, I'm like, who is that? But then I saw him, I'm like, oh, I know what that is. He's been in so much stuff. He's on Chappelle show. He's on a bunch of stuff. Yeah, on yeah, the Chappelle show. He was going crazy. I did not know that was him. When I watch it now, it's even funnier. Yeah, it is funny. <laughs> I'm going to keep it 100. I didn't even watch the Chappelle show until YouTube. Oh, Me wow. Either. Y'all have, are saying both, cases. Uh, 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 seasons on DVD, uncensored. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see what he says to Jimmy Kimmel. It looks like his I wife. I said DVD. That's like a thing of the past now. <laughs> it like- that's how old that shit is. Liberals are so stupid the way that they handle Trump. What you do you know? mean? You should shut up. <laughs> Dude, do he have video. Tim's on? He yeah. did have Tim's on. He from Philly, bro. He got them bur- them burners on. You they say the burners. Bill. That, all, that might actually give you the N-word card. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> he got the burners on. That's a crazy on. statement. The channel. <laughs> Y'all ready to do? Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, Bill Burr. I normally watch him on his comedy skits. I think for the most part, he's funny, he's entertaining, he's quick, he's witty, he's confrontational, and those are all the things that I like in a comedian. Uh, uh, sometimes he get a little, a little wokeish, a little leftishish, a little bit further to the left I than I like. Uh, but overall, I think I he's, a, he's a stand-up I dude. His wife got in trouble with the media or, or with with conservative move the conservative movement just recently because. When Donald Trump came to the USC fight, she was sitting right next, him and his wife were sitting right next to Trump, and she gave him the middle finger, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous. What now, I don't care if she do it. She had a freedom of speech to do it if she wants. She can give him the middle finger. She can pull up her drawers down if she wanted to. I don't care. That's that's all. I mean, it depends on like is she, what's is she, is she going throwing on it up at Trump? Yeah, that's what I'm or saying, is she like, just throwing it up because there's a picture? Yeah, no, that's what it might be. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I try to give her the benefit of the doubt, but like, uh, I, I, it I, could I, be at Trump. No, no, it very it, well could be. That wouldn't know surprise this me at all. Could be also be a video that, that was happening, and they were like just introducing Trump at the stadium or something like that, and then you know she probably threw it up. That Damn. Was I, but anything else other than that, but I feel like honestly, I think knowing what I know now is crazy to me that people still hate on Trump. Like, how do you hate on Trump and like Joe Biden is your president? That's a whole. They probably just hate. I just, I just, it's a whole nothing. It's so much. It's so is. much hate. I you're think they're in, you're in a sunken place. They probably believe just Joe they is right. Together, like they might not even have the same political views necessarily. Yeah, I was actually yeah. thinking about that the other day. Like dating someone that doesn't have the same political. So views. was I. You were, buddy. <laughs> and I don't. I don't think that would. I don't think. I don't know how that would go, but uh, let's keep. I it think you should be straight, bro. I think it would uh, be, how that uh, affect y'all relationship between each other. Well, I mean, you guys. Uh, remember, like, our friend was doing a show about that. You would have a lot of different opinions, bro. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Y'all will have a, di- a lot Y'all of Y'all will have a lot of different opinions. But you telling me like I can't mess with that person because they believe a law should happen and I don't believe No, you that's can't crazy. for sure. That's you crazy. can't. To that's each his own, buddy. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I feel like that would be difficult I for I feel like that would cause some friction to me. Like, yeah, I, 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 that's I, that's I, I think I it will. Like. I think it will. I think it will. Cause Man. especially with what he said just in that first little introduction, what she's doing, if she is flipping off Trump, they then that shows they have different views. Oh, hundred percent. But I don't even know how Bill Burr feels about Trump. This is my first time hearing him speak yeah, yeah, on let's, Trump. Yeah, let's, let's see. Yeah, what he me says. too. Me too. So, so I gotta get into this video. Right next, him and his wife were sitting right next to Trump, and she gave him the middle finger, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous. Now I don't care that she do it. She had a freedom of speech to do it if she wants. She can give him the middle finger. She can pull up her drawers down if she wanted to. 
I don't care. That's that's on her. I just think that if you further, if you if you followed up with the conversation with her, you say, why do you think you don't like Trump? Why why do you give a middle finger to Trump? And I guarantee, I guarantee you, what she say is not going to make any sense in the grand scheme of things. People <laughs> just hate him to be hating him, and they hate him because yeah. they see something they saw on television, and, and, and then they hate him, but they love other people that's wrong. Anyway. Let me go to this because Bill Burr. See, just, I never really understood that until Vivek hate. Vivek hate, yes. Vivek. Vivek. I, I ain't gonna always, lie. I always go back to the reaction of like, damn, I keep saying it wrong. I just try to They treat him Vivek. like Trump Kate. now. Yeah. No, yeah, bro. It's actually in the They're training. Hey, look, that's the next video. His I don't want to get too, too much steam. They're trying to derail him. But still, yeah. though, I never He's really going understood. crazy. Like, why? Okay, some people like might hate Because it's like, how do you, how do you hate, hate on this man? Yeah, He's I never, going crazy. I never really seen, like, when Trump was, like, you know, campaigning. Like, I didn't get to see, like, but I'm seeing Vivek's every move, basically. Vivek. Vivek. Vivek's gracious. every move. Right, I'm keep so, it for some people to hate him is actually insane to me. So, I can see why. I'm seeing Trump know, moves, too, Trump. on Twitter. I see everybody going but on. But we didn't see Trump's campaign, so we kind of don't know I, why. No, some we people, didn't see it in 2016, for real. I'm talking about on the internet, I have seen his campaign. But what is the reason for his hate? When he was campaigning, it's because bro, he was an beginning. outsider, bro. Yes, he was just an outsider. I think because um, no, people are stupid. The time, That's it. That's the it. left just says the right people person is racist. So if you're the yeah, Republican yeah, yeah, well, candidate, well, that's why I wanted to say. But I, that's why Vivek is breaking it because how you gonna say he racist? Yeah, and he's a minority in his self. Yeah. So no, no, like, no, 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 no. We're getting to the next video, but they're calling him a Nazi. Uno, uh, they're calling him. <laughs> he's he's gonna be like um, Hitler, basically. What? That's what they're saying. That's yeah, we're gonna get to the next video. That's a crazy comparison. Insane statement. So you know, what that's saying? a crazy. I can see how these people can create that's almost, that's almost slanderous to say something like that's, that about somebody. And I can see why. He should sue for that. That's definitely. Oh, somebody play with my name like that, you get hit with a lawsuit. And he got the lawyer. That's definitely. He gonna get your ass. Oh no, I can't let that slide. I guess that's why I can see why Officer State don't feel like that about Trump. He probably feel like he's seen every move Trump made, like how we feel about Vivek. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like because I don't really see people, that. Point. People aren't thinking for themselves; they're just going off other other people's thoughts. They're, they're going off that media. media narrative, man. I, I, I can see why if you don't watch politics or, or like actually research for yourself, and then someone tells you that, and you have seen exactly. no research, you can be swayed to think to, that way. That's what I used to like, think. You, you you're not really doing research, like to say you're something not, like that about somebody. Not, yeah. no Knowing who that is is insane. That's just like, hey, y'all know we always say, sorry y'all, but uh, niggas said, if you hear that first, probably don't believe Bro, it. Dude said, but you know, <laughs> you I was said. always told that, you know, judge a, pe a person off their fruits, you know, so that's really what I can look at to, you know, choose the president. I could see their works and their fruit that they had produced for our country, so you know, I probably said some over the head type then of stuff. They hate him, but they love other people that's wrong. Anyway, biblical. Let me go to this because Bill Burr just completely uh, – I think I think he called out Jimmy Kimmel on his show. I think he called him out. One of the phrases that he said was shut up, and so it's controversial, and I'm going to let you guys make the decision. Did he tell Jimmy Kimmel to shut up, or was he saying shut up to the leftists? But he definitely called Jimmy Kimmel out and claimed that he was a – I'm going to paraphrase – an ignorant leftist like – he was talking about Whoa. the ignorant leftist like Jimmy Kimmel. So, without further ado, don't test them. He got them Tim's. Wrote a too, dog bro. on film. Got them like, butters. I know what I'm going to tell my kids when they get to a certain age. I, I really am. Like, I have it down have about religion and, and people. Really? Narcissists, sociopaths, all of this type of stuff. Like, you want to see a great case thing on, like, narcissism. Liberals are so <laughs> stupid the way that they handle Trump. <laughs> what you do know? you mean? You should shut up. What, He's a narcissist. <laughs> Neutral energy. Yeah, you Dude. think he'd troll? You think he'd go away? You know what I think he was? I think he was a one-hit wonder. Uh huh. Right? He wrote the twist, uh -huh. and then that was it. He was on the casino circuit, and then you yeah. idiot liberals wrote him twist again yeah. when you indicted him. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 he did just cook his ass. He oh, he's a martyr. He said, you he's coming idiot back, liberals. Jimmy. Peppermint twist. He's back, coming yeah. back. <laughs> it's gonna be great for comedy. He's coming back. <laughs> That is gonna be I can't comedy. believe like these are honestly going to be our two choices because I, I really try to with each thing to try to be like figure out who I'm going to put. I mean, it's got to be. I want somebody in their forties, somebody that's going to have to live with their decision. <laughs> I don't want like you know. It's only one man. With any luck. Hey. It's only one man. Hey y'all. They'll both die of natural causes. <laughs> we'll make like cake <laughs> before the election. And maybe you could get somebody that still has something to live for. Wow. That's you know? crazy. <laughs> this year you're not That's get crazy. A visit from Santa, but you are going to get a visit from the Secret Service. <laughs> right, I said die peacefully. <laughs> oh, you did. I, I did. didn't hear peacefully. I did. Oh, no, you and did. then you threw that in. I must have thrown that in. Yeah. Bill Burr is no harm. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so you heard the little skit. Um, obviously, this guy's a comedian. Some of the things he say I don't agree, but I think they're funny, right? I don't agree with them in a serious manner, but I think that they're funny. You know, I do think it's kind of interesting that our two choices are two 80-year-old men. It, it's cra- It's kind of mm-hmm. interesting to me that those are our two choices. 80 mm-hmm. years old is However, crazy. one is greater than 80. the other. Like, when you put that in perspective, it makes me feel so young. Trump but I feel old, dude. Biden. I'm like mid twenties. You know we're close in your Biden early twenties. Circling the drain, and Donald well, Trump, now. in my opinion, he has the fortitude to get out there and lead the country you ain't touch your prime. in the right direction. Even at his Trump is greater than Biden, hands down. It ain't even close. Biden is literally circling the drain, and Donald Trump, in my opinion, he has the fortitude to get out there and lead the country in a, in the right direction, even at his age. But I, I just often wonder how do we even get to this point. And we got so many aspiring young people in this country from the age of 30 all the way to the age of 60 that could probably do a really incredible job with a lot of life experience that that understand how to communicate, understand about not being true. as polarizing and know who saying thinking. things that don't need to be said to Me cause too. conflict that don't need to be had. Just literally putting your head down <laughs> you and getting stuff done. That. I'm not saying everything Trump did is wrong in his approach, but I do think some things he, he could avoid saying and mm-hmm. would probably have an easier life. But yeah. regardless of that, I think Bill Burr is an That's absolutely a hilarious individual. And a part of me thinks he's more conservative than liberal, for sure. Because he didn't agree necessarily Definitely. with what his wife did. But he stood up for his wife, which every man should. That standing up, that. meaning that his wife had the freedom to do whatever she wanted to do. If Joe Biden was at, I'm guarantee you, if Joe Biden went to the UFC fight, of course he'll get booed out of there. <laughs> but if he sat down next to a conservative and a conservative stuck the middle finger up at Joe Biden, it would be on the be on the front of a T-shirt selling over a million of them. That is. How do you know that, Brandon? Because the crowd was yelling "F Joe Biden" at the race car thing, and it became a whole thing called "Let's Go Brandon." And it's <laughs> celebrated. People got it on flags. People got the license plate "Let's Go Brandon." FJB is a thing. That's so crazy. In all grand scheme of things, that's FJB. Like joy. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go up at Joe Biden. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. Do you think that's he so called funny. out Jimmy Kimmel? So do you changing. think that he should have? And do you? Yeah, like yeah, but we already talked about this. Hold on, though. Hold on. I'll see you on the next one. We talked about this already. No, I know, but like that's just like so a funny. So there's the place like, where people like some people were saying, "Let's go, Brandon." Probably. That's Actually. like a funny like and code for that. Some people were saying F Joe Biden. That's such a funny code <laughs> word for that. F Joe Biden. <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. No, oh my I, gosh. We didn't finish the Alex Jones yesterday, bro, but I heard some crazy it's, shit. No, that was insane, bro. He I told you to watch Joe this. Joe Biden is walking around in the White House drugged up naked. Yeah, damn. and they just smacking him around that bit, telling him what to do. It's, it's time for you to damn. go to sleep. <laughs> they giving him heads, and he walk around those. Come on, bro. Butt booted naked, old booted, <laughs> rusted. Like, yeah, yeah, like, like that, that is a crazy booted. description. But it, it's, like, it, it is. Why you have to pay that in the hotel room? You're crazy. No, that's actually hilarious. Y'all think he's going to go down as the worst hated president ever? Brother, he's going to be up there. I think he'll definitely be up there, unfortunately. No, I said that he should. To give um you know somebody black people just ask for reparations again i said you know what he's been so bad he might as well just top it off and just just you know go down as the worst president ever and give black people reparations oh my gosh that would be <laughs> hey, that hey, would be if I was oh here, my that would help his case if he's trying to run next year be like hey you know one last hail mary for you <laughs> 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 well, he said what a last hail mary <laughs> he said what a last hail mary that's hilarious, hilarious. Oh, that's hilarious. Right, guys, see y'all later <laughs>